Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me as part of my technique series. Here on my YouTube channel every Friday, I bring you a fun techniques video. And at the moment we're looking at masking. And I love masking techniques. They're so much fun. And this week, I thought I would share this card. And, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I have done some masking on this card. And I have used the fabulous new embossing paste to create this fabulous raised effect. But I'm going to use the same mask, but I'm going to use a slightly different technique. So I have created my own mask today using the oh so eclectic bundle i love this so much if you want one bundle out of the new annual catalog get this one it is fantastic so you get this fabulous stamp set and all of these coordinating dies so you've got um dies that cut out the direct images you've got dies that cut out complementary images and then you get this die down here which cuts out this shape now it doesn't cut it out so you have it separate it cuts it out so that you have it still left in the panel but you have the holes missing so i don't know how well you can see this or well, not too bad but i've cut it out of a piece of window sheet now this window sheet is a bit mucky because i've used embossing paste on it um but that is the mask i have created with this die and all you need to do is run it through your big shot. Now, it makes a hell of a horrible noise. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it makes one of those scary, cracking, banging, horrible noises. You think, oh my goodness, I've broken my big shot. You haven't. It is just the properties of window sheet. Because it's a really strong material. It needs a couple of passes through sometimes. But it also makes a horrible noise. So, I have got a piece of washi tape on the top of my... Um, piece of window sheet because I'm going to use this whole piece as a mask so I have got my piece of whisper white now all the measurements for this card will be available over on my blog and I'm going to pop that down the mask down onto my piece of cardstock now I've also caught the cardstock with the washi tape so nothing's going to move particularly I've wiggled that a bit <laughs> but nothing's going to move and I've got a um Stampin' Sponge and my Night of Navy ink pad. Now this, <laughs> I am going to do a whole series of videos on embossing paste, but I will be completely honest with you, I haven't quite got to grips with it yet. It comes white and it's fabulous stuff, but I added some Night of Navy to it and it's not quite Night of Navy, is it? It's, so, it's more Marina Mist than it is Night of Navy. It's very pretty, but I wanted that pop of Night of Navy and I just didn't add enough ink. So that's the sort of effect that you get if you just add a little bit rather than enough. Because I want that pop on this card, I'm going to sponge ink onto it. So I'm going to take my sponge loaded up with Night of Navy ink. And as you can see that this whole piece of cardstock is covered by this mask. So I can start over here and I can swirl that ink onto that cardstock. And I'm going to just cover this mask in ink because I really want that really dark Night of Navy colour that's just so pretty and get it really really inky and we're going to swirl all that ink and I'm not going to waste any of it it's all going to go onto that cardstock so just like that there now that is considerably darker than that one. <laughs> and that's that, that's the effect I was looking for, but I didn't get it with the embossing paste. And it's totally my fault. It's totally because I did not add enough ink. So I'm going to peel that mask away. How fun is that? And I can use that again. And because I've attached the washi tape onto it, the way I store this mask is inside my stamp case on that bit there. And I'm going to pop it on with my washi tape. And that mask is now with that stamp set. It's not going anywhere. So that is that. And then there is a little bit of stamping. So I've got a piece of scrap Whisper White. And I have got some of the stamps from Oh So Eclectic. So while well, I've got my Knight of Navy, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. 
I like you. <laughs> I am making this card for a fabulous friend who has helped me with my blog recently. Now, I don't know if it'll have gone live yet, <laughs> but my blog is changing and I am getting my own custom website. It has been on WordPress.com for too long um, and it's now going to be completely mine and I'm very excited about it. So I've stamped the leaves in Emerald Envy. This flower is Peekaboo Peach and then I am just going to stamp this um, this flower in um, what's it called? Berry Burst, that's the one. And I'm going to, I need another piece of paper because it needs to be a bit longer. So, let's grab those. Let's just move all the inks over <laughs> and grab these dies back. Now, this set of dies is fantastic. But, it doesn't always cut the exact shape and I want to demonstrate this to you. So, this die here cuts out this image. But it's going to leave some of the image behind and it's and obviously there isn't a stamp for the for the stem but it also pairs with this die which then makes it um intricate and you end up with that which is so so pretty but my suggestion would be to die cut that one first and then die cut around it so when i die cut this image with that you end up with this but they're going to layer up together to create this and they're, they're just so pretty this die die cuts this image but it also coordinates with that die to create that now I love that this is the reason this this die cut here is the reason I am completely in love with this die set but there are a couple of dies in here that aren't actually cutting dies this one here this lovely little leaf the heart and this set of leaves emboss into the cardstock so they don't cut they just leave an impression and they're so so pretty um, but I haven't used them on today's card so I have already done my die cutting so I have got these five die cuts oh. and I've now just lost so I've already die cut my images so I just need to punch out the I like you with the classic label punch and I'm gonna die I'm gonna punch it off to one side it lined up like so, and that is just so that I can um, kind of insert it into my card. So let's have a let's have a look here. I've got a card base in Soft Sky, and I've got a strip of the naturally eclectic designer series paper that's going to sit along that side there. So I'm going to stick that piece down first with my fast fuse because it's my favourite I use fast fuse all the time love it absolutely love it so let's get that piece on there and then before I adhere this down to here I am going to add in a length of the what's it called crinkled seam binding ribbon in the night of navy so I'm just going to layer it on so that I've got my get the length and I will tell you exactly how long that is so that about it's about four inches just over and I'm going to pop a length of fast fuse onto the card base itself because it's easier to do it that way and then we'll layer the night of navy seam binding over the top and just stick that make sure that's well adhered then I'm going to add my layer of whisper white that's got my masked image on it and layer that over the top so we're going to trap that night of navy seam binding in between our layers of DSP and cardstock 
and it's just going to sit there like that. And that, that's so pretty. Now, before I layer everything else onto the card, I'm going to add a little, uh, oh, I can't speak, a little bit of distress. Um, and I'm going to splatter some soft sky ink just over the whisper white just to give it a something a little bit extra because like just it's just too white can't cope <laughs> so let's layer these pieces together and this is one of the joys about this this stamps and stamps uh, stamp and die set I really can't speak I've had too much sugar um, is that everything coordinates and layers together so I'm going to chop the, the white stem off and I'm going to grab my glue mini glue dots and I just want one glue dot like that. I'm going to fold it in half and pick it up. And I'm going to stick that onto the back of my um, flower. So it's there on there like that. And I can use that then to move that around. It's not going anywhere. And then I want to layer this flower over that one like that so it's gonna it's gonna layer up exactly because it is cut from the same die don't forget and just like that now what you could leave the white stem on but my fear is that it's you're gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna bend that a little bit just to just to grunge it up and just to give it some uh, I just want some movement and some dimension on this card so there like so and then we're going to just stick things on <laughs> simple as that so i want my tombow glue now i don't use tombow glue very often on video because i make a mess with it but i like tombow glue for this kind of thing because it means that i can move things you've got a little bit of wiggle room so i'm going to stick the leaves on first and then the flower the um, peekaboo peach flower let's stick that there and this card is going to be slightly different every time which I think is just delightful because you're never going to stick things exactly the same place twice so that on there and then I want my I like you just like that and then this flower just with a little dab of Tombow on the back in the middle like so just there and that is my oh so eclectic card using my own mask thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you again really soon for some more fun stamping videos thanks for watching bye for now